Good morning, Frosttube. Welcome to Just So Sherry. I'm Sherry and I'm Just So Sherry over on Instagram as well. Well, hello. Today is a Friday, the 12th of April. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm looking rather fluffy. I've just been in the shower and got out. My hair's almost dry. Um, but I'll sort it out later properly. I'm going out later for my tea. How exciting is that? Tea is also known as dinner, depending on where you, in the country you come from. Basically, I'm going out for my evening food meal, whatever you call it. Um, so I'll sort myself out properly later. So for now, it's just chucked up and hoped for the best. I say that like it's never like this. It's always like this. <laughs> just maybe not quite as fluffy. Never mind, I'm a very fluffy sherry to what the hell are we doing here? What are we doing here? Cross stitch. This is a channel about cross stitch with a few bits of daft stuff along the way and hopefully some laughs and giggles too. And you just never know how it's, well, you never know what's going to happen, do you? <laughs> you just never know. Yeah quite often goes horribly wrong. If this is the first time joining me, prepare. Prepare yourself for a crash landing. Speaking of which, thank you so, so, so much to all of my subscribers. Thank you to those that have been here since the start. Thank you to those who've joined me along the way. And thank you to those who are maybe watching today and will then join me from now along the way. Um, I hope you see something you like and that you want to come back so you know do the whole like share subscribe all that stuff you always forget to say that you always kind of think well if you want to subscribe you will um i'm not very good at, at touting up business am i not very good at all so anyway what have we got today we have got this week's just so sherry We've got new starts, I've got finishes, I've got fully finishes, I've got my whips, I've got gifts from both myself and from others. I've got the giveaway winner from the last time and I've also got a new giveaway. So if you want to either hang around till the end or fast forward till the end, do what makes you happy. So where shall we start? Just so sherry. Just So Sherry comes from the retreat that I was at last weekend. I was at Floss Friends UK retreat, which is run by Sammy Sharp and Andrea Bowen, who are Sammy's little loop stitching. And Andrea is stitchy science technician. If I got the right way around. I hope so. Anyway, it's run by then. And I was there last weekend and I had a ball. Had an absolute ball. I was knackered by the end, mind. Absolutely shattered. I always am when I go to a retreat. Um, it's energetic. Really energetic, having to talk to people. But it was fab. I saw some old friends. I made some new friends. Um, and, yeah, there's always a few just so sherries. But the one I've picked involves another floss tuber or two. So it involves a lady called Kayla and her daughter Lauren who are stitching with my Lily on Floss Tube and I'll put it there um, as well as linking them in the description below. And I was talking to them outside, like outside the main stitching room we were just chatting. There was somebody else there and I cannot for the life of me think who it was. Um, but we were talking about Michelle, Mama Loves You GB, had done a list of floss tubers on her, now it was her floss tube maybe two weeks ago. Yeah, because last weekend we were talking about it and I think it was the week before. Um, anyway, she'd done, <laughs> she'd done a list of UK floss tubers. And Kayla had said, oh, how big was the list? <laughs> And, and I very helpfully said, about this big? And she just 
creased. And all I could think was, well, it was about this big in a description box. That's what I was thinking. There was like all these lines in, in a description box. It was about this big. <laughs> so, yeah, Kayla and Lauren found it highly amusing. That, how big's the list? This big? <laughs> She has actually done a much, much, much bigger list on Instagram, which is like this long, this big. Um, flagging all the UK floss tubers and, and basically it was like everybody tag each other kind of thing. So we can get a list of UK floss tubers out there into the big wide world and get some more visibility, if you like, for, for them. So yeah, go over and check out Michelle's Instagram if you haven't already, because there are hundreds. There are hundreds. And there's some fabulous ones as well. Um, so that is this week's Just So Sherry. So where shall we start? Fully finishes. I've got a fully finish. Oh. April. And this is From the Heart, Needle Art by Wendy. Um, I'm doing the monthly Quakers. And I'm up to April, as you can see. Well, I'm in the middle of May. Oh, that's a good point. I've got a whip over there that I've just caught my eye on. So this is April. And it's the 12th of April. And I got it in the frame yesterday. I am pretty chuffed with myself. Marches didn't go in until about... The 30th maybe so i'm pretty darn chuffed so this is both a finish and a fully finish since you saw it last this wasn't my favorite one by any stretch of the imagination i'm enjoying may much more um i, I really i don't know if it's because i prefer the geometric shapes so i quite enjoyed doing this motif M motif motif and this motif and this motif and I loved this corner I loved doing this bit but then we went into all the swirly unsymmetrical kind of well probably is symmetrical um sounds like my back gate I don't know who's coming in my gate this time of day who knows so that's April. So I'm pretty darn chuffed with myself that I got it in a frame for April. Well, the majority of April. More than half of April. So it's not bad. Not bad at all. I have also finished this one. Now I randomly picked it up. And I had I've, I have been picking up things recently that I'm like, why have I put that away? Why haven't I just finished it? But I think, you know, when you get fatigue from certain finishes. Anyway, this is Primitive Hair, Season of the Witch. And I'm pretty chuffed with this. So this is on a coffee dyed, coffee craft fabrics, 20 count. And I think the only thing I changed was the colour of her face, the green. It wasn't showing up on this fabric, so I changed the green somewhat. And if you can remember way back when, might it be my third or fourth floss tube? I thought this was a splattered frog. You know, like in biology, when you splay the frogs out, not that I ever did it, but when you imagine that the frogs splayed out with the pins keeping the body wide open that's what I thought this was it wasn't until I watched Garen Stitchery and it was Gary who said oh I'm loving the scarecrow I was like oh it's a scarecrow it's not a frog it's not a splattered frog at all so that is finished and I'm chuffed with it and I am very 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 tempted I'm going to try and find a frame for it because I've got a frame fetish so I have got hundreds of frames um, I'm going to try and find a frame that I've already got that works. And I'm very tempted to leave it up all year round. 
And I was thinking about it last night as I was going to bed. I was thinking witchy thoughts, as you do. And I thought, would it be weird to put something up like this in April? And then I thought, hang on a second, Sherry. This is your life. This is your house. If you want a witch up all year round, you can darn well have a witch up all year round. So I'm going to have the witch up all year round because we don't hide away for 11 months of the year and just come out in October, do we? Glasses. I'm wearing black actually as well. How appropriate. Um, so I'm really, really pleased to have that finish. I made a meal of it. I made a meal of it. Now I have got a rather large finish or two smaller finishes, whatever you call it. But I don't have it to show you. When I was at the retreat last weekend, Lisa from Atelier Frames was there. So I took them with me and I have left them with her to frame. So I finished not one, but both of Jacob's Modern Folk Embroidery, two Quaker sisters. So I can't show the, the real things, but they are done. Now, I'll show you when I get back. I'm getting them, I'm picking them up from the big stitch at the end of July. Don't make a touch with them before that and say, oh, it doesn't matter, just I'll pay the postage because I might be able to not hold me water. Um, when I've done them, uh, this writing on here, I'm not so pleased with how it's come out. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's very, yeah, it's not very, you have to look closely to read it. But it was one over one and I wasn't picking it out. There was no way in God's earth I was going to pick out a whole load of one, one over one. So it is what it is. I went with my judgment and my judgment shall stay. So I'll be able to show you that definitely at the end of July. Maybe sooner if I get too excited and say, Lila, can, can I just pay for postage and have them? So, they are my finishes and fully finishes. Do you know, I feel like I've got very little to show you in the way of stitching. I mean, I probably haven't. I think it's because it's been three weeks. It doesn't feel like I've got enough to show for three weeks. So, I started my... Oh, I've just realised I haven't got my microphone on. Oh, well. I started my Be Not A Dunce, which I'm doing with Sarah on Instagram. You may remember of the 56 count brigade. So I started it. I am loving it. Absolutely loving it. You can see how tiny it is. I'm trying to get it close up to the, the, the what you call it, the camera. So I'm up to N. I'll pull it a bit further back so you can see how tiny it is. Or you can see my... my um, Needle minder. So I am doing it on 56 count from Megan Coffee Craft Fabrics. And I am doing it with paint box thread. Hang on, where's my gaps? Need me gaps. Paint box threads, which is the UK company. And the, this is silk. And the colour says... Now, I haven't been on the website to check out if you need both codes, but it says VSN02-1023. So if you're interested in the colour, but it is lovely. I am loving it. Now, I work on a computer all day, every day. So when I'm finished work, I usually need to give my eyes a rest. Well, I do. Um, just get eye strain looking at the monitors all day, don't you? 
but I was loving this so much that one day after work I picked it up. I was itching to do. I think I only did M and N, but it was a little bit more. Um, so I'm two letters further down the road than I was before I picked it up. Put it that way, and um, yeah, absolutely loving it. I would highly, highly, highly recommend stepping outside your comfort zone. You never know what you will find. You may find you hate it. And I'm not saying do it on 56 count. What I'm saying is do something different. Um, do something you haven't done before. You might hate it, in which case it'll be a lesson that it's not for you and move on to other stuff. Um, but you might love it. And I'm genuinely, genuinely gobsmacked. Like I'm really, really, really enjoying it. To the point where I did buy some more at the retreat, which we will get to when I get to gifts. I also have a massive thank you and I feel very, very honoured that Sumi Sarah and Sally Fussy Souls and Grows, they're doing their Fun for 50 24 sale, 2024 sale. Um, because they both turned 50 this year as well, although they're still in their 40s at the moment. Um, I, however, am not. So they started now. Is it ten merry men and their loyal dog? It's something about it's something like that. I remember thinking it was about. It it just remind me of, of a load of drunk sailors. So I kind of and they did that. They started it on the fifteenth of March in honour of my birthday and. I was blown away. Absolutely. I'm, I'm really, really grateful. Um, it's a pattern I don't think you can get a hold of because it was what they got from the retreat from Stitch in London, October. So I assume it will be released at some point in the future. But for the moment, I imagine it's a, a retreat piece. Um, so a massive thank you to Sarah and Sally for honouring me like that. And I have finally managed to jump into one of theirs. Only one, and it's only a little one, and it is late. I started Little House Needleworks um, schoolgirl lessons. Now, they started this on the 8th, if I remember right. can't remember if there's something significant about the date or not. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to do some delving. So I got that, but I didn't get it until the two days ago, whatever that was. So I started it yesterday, and this is as far as I am. I'm trying to find some paper to put behind it, because it's quite a, a light colour fabric. So this is how far I am. Now that little needle minder is one of my new needle minders from the retreat just get stitching i've got a couple more i'll show you in a bit but i'm doing this on 36 count winter moon and i am using sulky 12 weight um, 4011 and it is beautiful now i thought this was it was when I was at the summer retreat last year, the Plus Friends one. And I was talking to Lauren, Plus Abilities, and her mum. And her mum was doing a long dog. And I thought it was in this colour. But when I started stitching it, I don't know if you can pick up on there. It's got quite a lot of rows in it. It's really, really pretty. Really lovely. And it's gorgeous to stitch with. Um. So I'm not sure, sure if it is the same one. Hopefully I'll bump into her. I think they're going to Big Stitch, so I'll say them there. Um, and I'll have to ask her if this is the same one. If not, I want the colour that she did her long dog in, because it was lovely. So that is my other new start. Okay, I'm going to shifty these things out of the way and grab my whips. I will be two shakes of a lamb's tail. 
Okay, I'm back. So I thought I would show you before I head into my whips, my book of days and my cross stitch planner. So I've got the cross stitch planner by Maury Sykes, My Crazy Life, that I got through Patchwork Rabbit. And I think we all probably know the book of days is by Needlework Press, isn't it? Yes, Needlework Press. And I wanted to show you, I don't often show it, um, but I wanted to show you why I wanted this bigger one. So this is my April, so I've put in my stitching, and I do stitch every day, I just forget to fill it in every day. Um, so at the end here though, I've got my new starts and my finishes, generally. So on here, if I can find April's, this is the spread from this one. And you can see, again, I've got the starts and finishes down the side. I just, I've got into that way now, so I'm used to it. So, but, see up here, this is what I wanted. I wanted more space to be able to write. So this is my school girl lessons and I've put in what I'm using, what fabric I'm using, and what threads I'm using, so that I've got a copy of it as I go I go along. And that's what I was struggling with, with the, um, the book of days, that I didn't have enough space to write down all the stuff that I needed. I'm not too sure about this, this ring binder, because when I'm trying to lean to write, my hand's like getting caught on there. Um, so I'm struggling to write. I don't write very neatly now anyway. Um, I think, I don't know if anyone else finds this, but I mean, it's maybe it's the job I do as well. Because I work on a computer so much and I can, I can touch type. I just, I don't write very often. So when I come to write, my handwriting is just atrocious. Um, so anyway. So yeah. Oh, I haven't marked down that with me retreat was on there. So I wanted to show you that and show you basically the why I wanted it because and that that is pretty much the reason why. Not sure what I'm gonna do for next year. I tell you what I do like though, this has got um patterns in. This my crazy life one has got patterns in it from different designers, I assume exclusive patterns and I am going to do a couple of them so onto my whips and I want to show you this as well now this was the bag I got off my friend Jess for my 50th birthday um, as well as a couple of others um, the, one of the other ones is in here which I'm using to store my threads And I found the perfect project to be stored in it. And it is. Oh, I haven't got the. If you watch my craft room tour, you'll know where I'm going. know how and why I can put my hands on things relatively easily and if you don't know feel free to backtrack and watch me craft room to you and hear about <laughs> the poor lad that had well I tried to drag him into where, where, where some magic happening and he was not going to be dragged in there anywhere for any magic You'll need to go back and watch that one. They just saw Sherry's at the end of it. It's worth it. So this is my 50th birthday start. That started on my birthday. Um, Modern folk embroidery, forget me not. Would you have told my daughter she's got a keyboard? <laughs> that poor lass. She doesn't even have a home. She's 31. She just lives on the road. <laughs> She's going to have to find a caravan or a van big enough 
to hang this. So I have done a little bit more on this. Not much, but I have done a little bit more. Um, so that is the top and I'm doing this on. What am I doing it on? Oh, now I wrote it on the pattern. Try and get the pattern out without showing. Right. Because I couldn't remember the last time. It turns out I'd been dead clever and I'd actually put the sticker. Try and show it without showing the pattern. I put the sticker on the pattern so that I would. So this is 32 count mocker by Week Style Works and I am using Roxy Floss Core threads in brunette. And there's a cream one. What's that one called? Come on, Sherry. Sort your life out. Antique wedding dress is what it's called. So there's only one skein of that. And it's just for the, the alphabet. And I will possibly put both mine and my daughter's initials in a different colour. Probably, not possibly, probably. Um, and I got this wonderful needle minder from Stitch in London as well. I'll need to go. <laughs> I was going to say I'll need to ask Michelle who the vendors were, but I won't because I'm still frightened of her. So I'll ask Marie of Stitches and Diamonds um, because I got both the needle minder and um, like a zipper thing to match. So I think this is coming on. It's coming on. I think it's looking beautiful. It's it's looking as good as I imagined it would. You know, when you've got your, your sort of thing, oh, I'll do this and I'll use that fabric and this is how it's meant to happen. And this actually is working the way I thought it was meant to happen. So there's a shocker. But huge thank you again, Jess, for my bag. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. And no, she doesn't sell them. Oh, not yet, anyway. Some people saw some of them at the retreat, and I think they're desperate. Why, why, why are you not selling them? Please, please make them and sell them. But it's a lot of pressure. So, the next one, which I've ironed for you. A little bit. It's the old favourite, the Patchwork Calendar by Owl Forest Embroidery. So the last time you saw it, I just started on July, which is this lovely, lovely blue. I'm making aquamarine. And I ironed it because I was sick of looking at how crumpled it was. I've been working on it for months, so. There we are. So that is the square that I'm busy working on. So I've come down. I think it will probably take me another two sessions to get that, that one done. I'm starting to very gently see the end. I think it's because I'm more than halfway now. I was very tempted to cut the bottom off yesterday when I was ironing it. Just to get some of the material out of my way while I'm working on it. Um, but I've got this far so I probably won't. So that's as far as I've got with patchwork calendar. And I found this from, I know I've said it several times, but if you've either forgotten or if you haven't been around very long. I saw this, it was Samantha, the Hugo Stitcher. Um, was doing it but she's doing it on a much lower count so it's much bigger um, and she's making hers into project bags so it'll be the 12 months of the year project bag and I'm doing it with all the cold for as well um, the owl forest oil forest oil oil owl oil no idea no idea do I ever have an idea? No. no. Right. 
Where are we next? Oh, and this was another random one I picked up. It, 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 it's all been a bit, this month has been a bit, well, this last three weeks stitching has just been random. I've got in this, I need to finish things mode, like things that have been hanging around. I think because I've got such big projects now, I've got what, four, well, one Bella, three mirrors on the go. I've got me embroidery, me forget me not. I've got my patchwork calendar, which needs to be done. Um, and other stuff. So I just need to get some of the smaller pieces out the way. It's kind of soul destroying looking at them now. Thinking. So this is totally out of season as well. I just picked it up. This is Stitches Through the Years. Is it Stitches? Yep, stitches through the years. Winter is coming. Mini Quaker. And the last time I was up to about here, so I've done this much. And this is where I am now. Just my neat obligatory work and thread all over the place. So I've done quite a bit more. I've done sort of basically the middle chunk and I'm now on to the end, the end third, the last third. So I've done the little reindeer. You can't see this cream wonderfully well, but I'm not, I'm not restarting it and I think it will be fine um, once it's done. I think you can actually see it almost better on camera. It's usually the other way around, isn't it? So I'm really enjoying it and this is on 20 count Megan Coffee Craft fabric. And I love this fabric. It's my favourite in the world. And I, I always moan about it that she, she, won't, she doesn't do like the same ones again. Because I love this. I would buy yards and yards of this. Just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I think, again, much like um, the, the section of Patrick Calendar, I think a couple more sessions and it'll be done. This is my Michelle piece. Michelle and Marie from Stitch in London, the sampler edition. So this was the retreat piece we got, which was Mary, Maud Mary Dodrell, 1876. And I'm doing this on the cold fall because we got the, the bag with the thread bling as well. What, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it. This thing. Um, so I'm doing it on the fabric that we were given, which is why so I got summer khaki. I've done quite a bit. Because I'd only done, I think, this line and a little bit of this line. So I've actually done quite a lot more. So I'm quite pleased with that. I'm pleased with how it's coming out. It's not showing up as bright as it is in real life. If I get the colours. The fabric, not the fabric, the the um the threads. Just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> it could be a while. While I organise my life. So yeah, so you can see how bright they actually are. You just can't see it so much on the on the fabric. And I changed. So these were the cold four. Well, the, the, the colours that we were given, the, the, yeah, called for, yeah. But I did change, it was weeks, was it weeks? Corn silk for Classic Colour Works, ye old gold for the border. And the more I go with it, because at first I wasn't sure about it once. I didn't like the corn silk, I'd done some of it and it was very tone on tone, um, which is fine because it's exactly how the reproduction should be 
um, because Maud's work was torn on torn. Um, but I decided I wanted something a little bit more definitive. So I changed it. And then when I was about at this point, yeah, about the sort of third borderline, I was thinking, oh, is it too dark? Should I have stayed with the original colour? But actually, the more I'm going, the more I'm happy with it. So, yeah, it's coming on. Quite chuffed with that. And I have fallen. Wellington top boots. Wellington boots tops deep into mark and samplers i was never a mark and sampler girl so i do not know what those two women have done to me marie and michelle to change me into a mark and sampler it, it's bizarre it really is bizarre because i wasn't i mean i used to look at people's and admire them but it's not something i wanted really to do um so I have no idea. Right, come on. Here it is. This one's out of season as well, but I I just don't even care. I'm just I'm throwing caution to the wind, guys. I am going rogue. Rogue? Yes, I'm going rogue. I'm doing what I bloody well want, which will be nothing new in my life. Winter Rose Manor. It's not really out of season because I'm. It's. I keep calling it me plodder. I just keep plodding on with it a little bit. I would like to have it done for next year, and I would like to have Blackbird Designs Christmas Garden done for next year as well. Although I have not picked that up recently, so I don't know how I'm going to get it done if I don't stitch on it. But never mind. Now, last time I pulled this out and I was like, ah, oh, I don't think I've actually done anything on it. So this week I checked. To make sure I had done something on it before I showed you. And I had. You might not be able to tell though. And I shall tell you for why. So this is as far as I am. Which you may think. Sure you haven't done anything. I spent hours on this. Hours. Rogan. I had. Done. Over there. Oh, move over a bit. So I've done the roof down to about here, which is about seven or eight rows right the way across. And then I realised I'd done it wrong because the conch plank needed to be here, and I had done the entirety of it. So I had to frog the whole bloody lot. So that literally took me about two hours to get it all out. And then I've started putting the conch in. I don't know. What, I'll need to ask Siri. Siri? Siri? He's ignoring us. Sorry, my life. Even Siri won't bloody talk to us. Sick. I was going to ask him how you pronounce it. I'm going to have to ask him off camera. He's obviously shy. He doesn't. He doesn't like to, you know. <laughs> Siri's camera shy. Can you believe that? I don't even know where he is either. Hey Siri. He's gone. He's left. He's left. <laughs> He's like Sherry. Do you know what? You're on your own, pet. So that is as far as I've got with Winter Rose Manor. <sighs> Spent a lot of time, but have got very little to show for for my time. But I did do it, and I did check this time before I... Oh, and that's me fab Jane Austen bag from Sarah. Not in the foot bags. I might have something from her in me air gifts as well. I'm a sucker for her bags. I really am. So, is this my last work? I feel like I've done... Oh, no, 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 it isn't quite. This is me. I'll show you this one first. So, 
So this is this little house by Plum Street. And this has been, I've made a meal of this. I started this last February and I did get fatigued with it. But I took this to my retreat last week because I had to fill in. So I had run out of putty. I don't know if you can remember. I had run out of putty. And the wonderful Rhonda O'Neill sent me a, a very, very, very generous gift of the... I've forgotten what it's called. The, the Light of Winter. The Light of Winter, which is the companion piece to Winter Rose Manor, which is why I want to get that done so that I can start The Light of Winter. Um, and she sent me all the threads very kindly. And there was a putty in it. So I've written it in my little bag of threads. Putty has gone to Thistle House for his holidays. <laughs> because otherwise I'll pick it up and think, where the have I put? Because she sent all the threads. So where is it? So I've had to write myself a note. So this is, I should have ironed this. I don't like crossing my stitches if I can help it like folding the fabric on my stitches if I can help it so you can see why where I've tried to fold it to keep it in the bag so that it doesn't cover any of the stitches now this one much like Winter Rose Manor you might look at and say I can't see any difference there is difference on this there is here two columns of putty. This was my retreat stitch. I did 51 stitches. It's more than one. It's less than last time. Last time I think I was on 92. But I did 51 stitches. So those two rows encompass an entire weekend's stitch. Did do a little bit on Maud Mary. Didn't get very far on her neither. Um, but yeah. So I need to get that done. Needs to be done. And my last whip, which is... <sighs> um, finished all bar and the whistles. Bells and whistles, isn't it? That you're meant to put in. And again, this was a random one that I just picked up. It isn't necessarily out of season. I just thought, I'm going to work on that. And I think it was about a week, a week ago I picked it up. And I've been going from my desk here at work to lying on my bed after work, just because it's more comfortable and I can get more support. Um, so I wanted something I could, that's manageable when you're sort of lying on your bed, which is why I haven't put as much work into me, forget me not, or any of my other sort of bigger pieces um so i just picked this up and started working on it and i am almost done it is pony of a tiny town heart and hand and it literally is almost done so i've got to go back i was up to here so I've literally done from this blue house right the way across. So I've done quite a lot on it. I've got a couple of, I've got a beak to put in on a couple of my birds. I've got the lazy daisy stitches for my little bees with the wings. And I've got the little buttons to sew on, which I need to keep a hold of. I've just, I can't even see them. They're literally sitting there. And I need to move them, otherwise I will lose them. Um, so I've got the buttons to put on. Now I have got Harvest Frill. And I was debating whether to put it on the end. I think what I'll do is... This is me thinking as I'm going now. I'm just using it all as my sounding board. Um, 
I think what I might do is finish it, finish this, iron it and what have you, put it away as a finish, but I won't fully finish it because I might come back and put harvest sprill on. But for the moment, I need to get some finishes under my belt and some projects cleared. That's what I'll do. Thanks for your help. I like your advice. It, it's it's good advice. Very solid advice. Oh, and I've got to put the hive word, backstitch the hive word, <clears throat> onto that white hive in the middle. Now remember to go back and fill in the door handles, which I'm rather chuffed with myself. Oh yeah, it's coming on. And this is also part of some stitchy kindness. So you might see this again twice more. I'll let you ponder on what the second one is. I'll let you ponder. God, get me. Yes, go away and ponder. Do you know, I feel like, um, you know, the, the authors that used to be all pals at Cambridge and they used to all get together. C.S. Lewis was one of them. Um, was it Roald Dahl? Was he another one? I can't remember. Um, there's a film on C.S. Lewis and that covers it. And they used to get together every week and discuss literature and stuff. I just feel like one of them. Yes, I shall ponder. We shall ponder together. And then we will meet here in a week or two's time to discuss our findings. Oh, Sherry. Yeah. That is my stitching. My whips, my starts, my finishes and my fully finish. So I'm going to move everything out of the way and we will move on to gifts and giveaways. Hold that thought. Okay, moved all my whips. They. Um, and then they'll go in this cupboard and then I'll decide what I'm working on and take it downstairs. And again, if you watched my tour, yeah, you'll, um, you'll know how it works, how my organisation of what the hell I'm meant to be doing works. Oh, I am so today. Anyway, I'm just having a little moan as we go through. We're all friends here, aren't we? We can have a little moan together. So, a stitch of kindness. Uh, again, the kindness in the stitching community is unparalleled. There is a lady who, I'd like to call her a friend. She's called Val Lawson. She sent me a whole load of things a couple of months ago now. Um, to either use myself or use for giveaways. And she has sent me a bunch more. She sent me a really lovely card. Which is a seed card. With a really, really lovely note inside. But can you say this? So it's a seed card. And it says, plant me under a thin layer of soil. Keep me in my new soil home moist for 10 days don't let me dry out I will start to sprout keep it up and I will grow into some wild flowers isn't that the best thing you've ever seen in your entire life the only problem with this is because I keep all my little cards up here it means I'm not going to have our message I might need to photocopy our message Isn't that meant? So that's the seed card company. It is just... Yeah. And she has sent me, she sent me some gifts and also some patterns that she has used and thought I can use either myself or to use as giveaways as well. Um, so she sent me Rose Heart Bunny by Just Nan, which is lush. And where was the one? Oh, 
this one was another gift. 3D summer cat. Isn't that lush, man? And that's like how you stitch it. So it's embroidery on there. It looks like some woven wheels. Or something very similar. These things. And then you make it into a... And there's a, a seasonal cat for each, like, autumn, winter, spring as well. Lush. She also sent me some heart and hand Santas. Some of which I already have, so it will be given away. What I've started doing as well is all the patterns that I'm sent that I've been given by. I've started putting a little sticker on the back with V on for Val. So that I know if it's something I'm going to stitch and then once I've stitched it, I'll give it away, you see. I'll know which ones have come. Um, so, yeah. And some bigger heart and hand ones, which I also already have. So, Harvest Tiny Town. Funny Tiny Town. Remember I said you would save this again. And the Big Heart of Tiny Town, which I have just bought. So it means one of you will get it. Another Brenda Gervais, blessings be thine. And we all know after the last time how much we love my Brenda Gervais. And I bloody love these Erica Michaels. I love Erica Michaels anyway. I really, really, really love these. I really, 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 as Steph from Just Keep Stitching would say, I love it so much. I love it so much. Hands on design. And it's got the finishing fabric as well. Scarlet House. Needful thi needfuls. Needful things. Is that a film? And I love me a little bit of Shepherd's Bush. Really, really, really love this. I might see if I can get a hold of one of the bags and stitch that on it. Fab Halloween and this. I've been after this as well. Christmas wreaths. And this is a biggie, guys. This is a biggie. She sent me floral etchings too. That will be a giveaway at some point. Not necessarily today, but at some point. So a huge, huge, huge thank you, Val. Um, I don't know what I did to deserve so much kindness, but I'm really, really, really grateful. Massively grateful. The retreat I went to also had a lot of kind people there as well. Um, and I managed to pick up stuff and bits from people. I got a lovely little bobbin charm of a lady called Tina. Trying to think what our name is on Instagram. I'll link her below. Um, she's a lovely lady. Um, and I happened to be chatting to her at a table and she gave me a little thread thing. So that'll go on one of my, probably one of my bags. I don't know yet. I'll put it somewhere nice. I got this <laughs> off my friend Sophie, who's Tatal Bay Stitches. And it's specifically to hold my pills in because wherever I go, I lose tablets all over the bloody place. I think because I open them, they're made in dosettes from the pharmacy and I like open them, tip them at my hand, just knock them back. So half the time they get tipped out of my hand and I miss my mouth and oh, there's all sorts of fun and games happen. Um, so wherever I go, there's usually tablets kicking around. She was like, please put your drugs in here, Sherry. Please, they are legal drugs, they are prescribed drugs, and I do take them as prescribed, apart from when I lose them everywhere. I got that, and a highlighter pen off her, which is a little cat, and she knows how much I love my highlighters. And this is really lovely as well, actually, to write with. It's a really nice small chisel tip. Remember, I was moaning about the chisel tips being too fat. So I got them off Sophie. It was incredible. I got this off my friend Leanne, 
some fabric she was giving away. And she knows I'm all about the greys and the blues. This is Coffee Craft fabric. And as previously discussed, I love me some Megan fabrics. And these little needle threaders of Sammy, who um, runs it. I was gifted this, which I am over the bloody moon with. So this was given to me. Because I really, 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 really wanted it. And somebody went and got it for me. So thank you. And another wonderful lady, Josie, um, came up and said, you stitch Mirabilia. So I went, oh, hi. Here you go, you can have this. She gave me a mirror. Isn't that just the kindest thing ever? And probably the kindest thing I have ever seen. I'll talk about in a minute. I also had a go on Stitchy Ferret's Lucky Dip. Oh God, what's happening there? Mount board. I'm getting attacked by mount board polystyrene. It's not the bin this time, it's mount board. I had a go of a Lucky Dip and every time you had a go, you got a needle minder as well as if you won anything. So I got two needle minders because I had two goes. Um, so it was number 20. Little needle minder and lovely little Christmas tree, which was number eight. And I also won a prize. I won any one of her variegated flosses. And this is burgundy blues, 20 meters. Isn't that lush? Probably a little bit redder than it's shown up on camera. So I was chucked a bit for that. £1.50. And I got a needle minder and a thread for £1.50. I mean, can't go much wrong, can you? And I got this off my lush friend Adita. Just a little, a little container for any kind of containment. And it had a sweetie in. Which I haven't eaten yet. This is fab. Have you seen it? It, it just goes into like a, a rectangle, you know, like a pencil case. But it's perfect for lying open for an old container or any other of my stitchy stuff that I need to carry around with me. And I always get something nice. I don't even see there's a little tomato that I got off Adita at the last... Um, the last one I saw, I got something else of her as well. What was it? I know she gave me in the arm the the wood needle minders, she, like alternated, so we had the opposing needle minders. There was something else that'll come to me, that'll come to me. Um, yes, and that's all the stuff I got, so I'll grab the stuff. I bought two ticks. Okay, I'm back with my stuff that I gifted to myself and some other stuff that was gifted to me, kind of. I will explain everything as we go along. But from the retreat, I got Lisa, as I said, was there from Italia Frames. She normally has some just bog standard frames, you can buy, not bog standard, but um, frames in the box that you can just buy rather than like ordering custom ones. So I picked up this one, which I thought was cute. I picked up this one, which I thought was super cool. And I got that one as well. So they're the three frames to go and sit in a cupboard for me to promptly forget I even own, as you do. I got these from Jess Get Stitching, some needle minders, and I do love my needle minders from Jess. Um, so it's that one, and there is another two. So that one's similar, it's just a different shape to that one. And I had the one that I had on before, on me 
schoolhouse lessons, schoolgirl lessons. So I got those three from Jess. Sure, fab. I got a little tin because I love a tin from Sarah. I haven't opened, but I will now. You see, this is live, folks. Live telly. What could go wrong? <laughs> Oh my god. There we are. Here's a little tin. It slides off. Because I definitely don't have enough tins. I got this bag from my favourite girl Sophie. Um turtle base stitches. Which I have put my tartan thistle needle minder stitching in and that's the other part of needle mind that I gave me and I got a, a turtle charm obviously because she's turtle bay and she is also now a pink scissors fabric I think she said it was in Brid Bridge End I've got no idea where that is I, I was South Wales you, if you know where Bridge End is you, you possibly live near it go and check her out because she's amazing there was another wonderful lady there called Caroline Selden who is Haystack's Stitching. Haystack Stitching. So I got King Charles, which I had. I have waited patiently for. She was busy designing this this time last year when I bought the. Um, I've got Lilybet, um, which was to honour Queen Elizabeth. So I've got King Charles now. And I bought this from her as well, which is a kit. I didn't even realise. I was just like, oh, can I have that job? She said, I'll have to go and get one from the car. So I'm like, yeah, no bother. And when she came back, I was like, oh, it's a kit. It's a full kit. Happy bloody days. Because we like a kit, don't we? Or I like a kit. It's a nice treat. And the other most wonderful woman in my entire universe, Linda Haddon, was there, who runs the Sampler Guild. And if you haven't joined already, you should. Um, if you go back two weeks ish, Michelle Mama Loves You D G B did a like a review of it, what it's about and why you should join it. So you go and watch her if you haven't seen it already. But she was there and as I said, I've fallen down the mark in some uh, rabbit hole for some strange reason. And I love this. This was in my wish list, so I took it off my wish list and bought it from Linda. I also got this from Sarah, not enough whip bags, which is the Teresa Colgate fabric. I'm a sucker for her bags, I really am. They're fabulous. Oh, and it's a nice little tag Sophie Stitchy Ferret I got some fabric look at this oh look at this is that not the wildest piece of fabric you've ever seen in your entire life 14 count now I'm generally a higher count girl but I couldn't resist the fabric she didn't have it in the higher count so I suspect this is going to be a negative thread, so like a lighter thread, because obviously I can't go dark because you lose it in the black. So I do not know what I'm going to stitch on it, but I couldn't resist it. It was amazing. And I got another one of her, which is actually these have got names because she does do them again. So this is Dragonfire. If you want to, to head over to Sophie's. I don't know if she's Etsy or I'll have to have a look. Um, and this one is not got a name. So if we'd be able to tell you what it is. But isn't it fabulous? It's like a um nebulous, like night sky. Nebulous, is that what you call like when you see inside a star or inside a galaxy and it's all I 
I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a Scooby. That's what I'm talking about most of the time. I also got these from Caroline. Some hard anger fabric. So now I don't know what this is. But it is very so hello Charlie. Oh well, wasn't expecting it. Charlie Right. Um where he came from. This is much, much, much brighter than what it's shown on camera. It's like a tangerine colour. Um yes, hello. Um but it's really thick. And I can't say how many threads are in the now, do you call it warp and weft? Weft and warp? I was calling it wave and weft. Weave and... I've got no clue. This is the point where I've got no clue. Anyway, I can't see how many threads are in it. But it's really sort of chunky, thick material. Get off me fabric! Bloody Charlie. He's getting his paws in my, in, in my bloody Italian fabric. I love you, but you're not. You're not having anything to do with me fabric. Um, and a lovely sort of a salmony colour off Caroline. And she was selling this for an old lady who died. And it was all the money was all going to charity. So it was just a donation to charity. Um, which I duly did. I got this. Now this is called Oz Something. Ask Linda. I've got no idea. She's the expert. It is very fine, very soft. It is a, is it 40 count? I think it's 40 count. Charlie, what are you doing? So, Oz something. I'm trying to ignore the cat. But it's lovely, it's beautiful. I think you would need to stitch with silk on it because it is so, so, so fine. So delicate. And I got this, which is like a sage colour. Can't see very well. It's blown out. Really see in the middle. So, and that is another 36 count, I think. And I got this. And this is a 32 count. But I really liked it, so I bought it, funnily enough. So that's like a grey dapple that I got. And I did get some 36 count, just plain white offer. And I'm going to have a go at doing some red dyeing again. I've got loads of dyes downstairs. Okay, the next chunk have come from 123 Stitch. I have bought some of them, but I have also bought some of them with a gift that I got from, from my birthday. Um, my friend Patty, who I met at the International Jingle Ball um, 2022, and we meet up monthly, me, Pata, Pata, me Rita and Patty. Um, and there was a lady called Shauna from, from Oz who used to join us, but she's been busy of late, so we haven't seen her for a little while. But Patty sent me a voucher for one, two, three stitch for my birthday. And I was, I mean, it was like a really generous gift. It was so, so, so lovely. So I did treat myself to some stuff from one, two, three stitch. I got Plum Street Sampler Hello Winter, which is what I've been after. I've got Hello Spring. I've done Hello Autumn, although I need to put the Hello Autumn words on. This cat. Ow! Um, so I've now got Hello Winter. I got a doodle. The autumn doodles. If somebody said to me there's only one season you can stitch for the rest of your life, it would be either autumn or Halloween. I'm not sure which one out of those two. I got this. This was um, reduced. It was in the bargain bucket. Glendon Place. 
words of wisdom about the heart. And I've got the, the beads to go with it. It was reduced. I think it was about four quid. I got this spooky teapot from Tiny Modernist, which I love. It was quite weird actually the other day. I put it in one of the stitching groups with the girls. <laughs> and I did think, that's not normally my thing. I think some of them would like it. <laughs> so I did show them. I ordered the threads for Floral Etchings 2. Because I've already done Floral Etchings 1. So I got them. I got, and this is part market as well. Um, there's only two patterns that I got from market from 123 Stitch. As yet, I am still fuming about it. So I got this Sweet Wing Studio it as well. And I also got a copy of Floral Legends 2 as well. So that came. I got, and I've been after this for the longest time, Teresa Koga. So thanks, Patty. I'd, I'd, I'd been, it was on my wish list. And it was like one day, one day, one day, one day. This day, that day arrived. One day, that day came. Drawn thread, bets, bet, bets in the belfry, bets in the belfry, bats in the belfry. I'm going to show the back as well because there is a bonus pattern on it, which is cute as well. Gardener box, garden box even, by Jeanette Douglas. There's a shepherd's box as well that I've looked at. Very tempted. And I got Rosewood Manor. Happy Halloween. I do like Rosewood Manor. And the biggie that I chose was Sarah Fletcher. I have seen this on Carol Saltbox Instagram. It is stunning in the real world. Not in the pretendy world. It's not stunning. But in the real world, you know what I mean. Actually stitched up, this is beautiful. So you need to go and check out Saltbox Stitcher to see the actual thing done up. So they are all my gifts. So thank you to everybody who gifted me things. And big thank you to Val and to Patty. As well um, I'm a very lucky girl very 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 lucky girl okay joke what are we doing now giveaways so the giveaway winner from last week was last week two three weeks ago it was we had two giveaways so the fabric, you oh, God, you can't even see that hardly. So it's like a green model fabric. Now let me find my winners. Where are the? Where are yous? So for the fabric, the keyword was green, and it was the cheap stitcher that won. So the cheap stitcher, I'll put it down here. Um, if you can get in touch with me at justsosherry at gmail.com and give me your address, I'll get that out to you. And the other one was the bag from... <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm going to have to show you this cat. This is what I'm looking at. It's just... Love me, take notice of me. So this is off Pauline at Sobe Bags over on Instagram. You should check her out. She's um she does some fabulous, fabulous project bags. So the keyword for this was leaf, and the winner was Rosa Moulton seven. No, it isn't. Rosa Moulton nine seven seven five. I will put it along here. Rosa Rosa Moulton. 9775. So if you can get in touch with me as well, I'll get that in the post to you. Okie dokie. 
this week's giveaway. Ugh. Another piece of fabric. Another piece of even weave, 32 count even weave, which I forgot to say the last time. And I had to put a big thing across the middle. This is called Arctic Sky. And it is blue with a, it's got like a yellowy in it. Can you see? It's got like splodges. I wonder if I can. Not splodges, but it's got like a yellowy background. That's not too bad there. Kind of, kind of like that. Kind of just like that. So it's fat, fat quarter. A big, a big piece. Everyone seems to do that fat quarters in different sizes. I don't know how that even works. So for this one, usual rule supply. Please be a subscriber. Like the video and all the rest of the jar. See, me knickers. I, I always have my knickers with me now. <laughs> in case anyone never saw, it was my big girl's pants. They're always there just in case. Just in case I need to whip them out. You never know because putting your pants on top of your, your tights can make you do very brave things. The fabric, back to the fabric, we will say, we'll just say blue, blue, keyword for the fabric, this will be UK only for the fabric, um, the last time I said international as well didn't I for the fabric, okay we'll go international, so blue, for the fabric and I'll ship anywhere and the second giveaway tiny town honey of a tiny town which was kindly gifted to me from Val it doesn't have the embellishments in it so it says on here embellishments included they are not in this one it's um they've been used so for that one, we'll just say honey. So blue and honey. And I will post anywhere in the world. Oh, sorry, Charlie. Give him a fright. I'll be in the bad books. Right, I think that's about us done. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm sure I had more to say. I'm sure I did. Oh, I had to say hello to Ryan. Was it Ryan? I'm sure it was Chloe's partner called Ryan. Who, um, <laughs> she gets wrong if, he, if she starts to watch without, without him. Go, hello Ryan. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> Today hasn't been as mad actually. I don't know why. Um... Today hasn't been as bonkers as normal. Don't know why that is. Maybe I'm just tired. It's the end of the week. Tired. Okay, joke. What thought will I leave you with? I don't know who said it, but keep your face always towards the sunshine. And the shadows will fall behind you. Bye for now.